what's up everybody welcome back to another video today i'm super excited because i'm back with a everyday makeup routine it's been a few months since i did a video like this i did one on tiktok but i wanted to go more in depth in on here because a lot of you guys were asking me so this is my everyday makeup routine it's super easy super simple and i'm gonna show you guys all the products i use as well as how i apply them how i use them all that stuff so without further ado let's just get on to today's video Um, it is December 1st, so I'm in my Christmas pajamas. We're being very festive. I have my little... It's in here? Right here. I have my little Starbucks. Oh, it's actually not Starbucks. I made it at home, but it's a peppermint mocha. Almond milk. We're feeling all the Christmas vibes. It is raining today. It's actually Thursday. I am supposed to be at school. But if you know me, you know... Schools a little option nowadays i'm gonna start really quickly with our power of primer i finally opened a new one and i kind of really pat that into my nose my forehead and my mouth area and i kind of like swoop it upwards only i only put a little bit because if i put a lot my makeup will start to like like roll off my face i have a pretty dry skin and it gets really dry in the winter time and this is the moisturizer that I use. It's this moisturizing cream by Cetaphil. And this is so amazing. They just had a, they got a new formula. And it is the best thing that ever happened to me. If you guys don't already use this, you guys need to use it. Trust me. For my eyebrows, I use my Benefit Precisely Brow Pencil and 24-Hour Brow Setter. I like a more natural brow. Um, my eyebrows are pretty, like, dark. And they have, like, their own kind of shape to it. I make sure I keep up with the shape. But what I like to do is I just like to brush them upwards with my brush. And I kind of like to fill in my little like down here. Just to make my eyebrows even. I use a 24 hour brow setter. And I actually see on TikTok how you're actually supposed to use this. And it's actually pretty crazy. So if you see how like the little brush is flat like that. You're supposed to actually like put the product on your eyebrows. With the flat side of the brush. And then brush them. And like shape them. Which I thought was pretty cool. And then I get a Q-tip and I just clean. I use my Too Faced concealer in the shade 3 to conceal my eyebrows. Just because it's like, like similar to like my foundation shade. A little bit. Just a little bit more brightening. So eyebrows are pretty self-explanatory I feel like. But in case you guys are wondering that's how I do them. Okay, I just had to conceal my eyebrows really quickly because I need to focus on that. But I feel like 18 is the year that like kind of everything changes. So it's like you graduate, you're like gonna go to college. Like I'm literally this next year I'm gonna like go to college. Like it's not crazy. Um, and I'm not gonna be in high school anymore. Like it's just like the the year that everything changes. Like like uh, I'm just super nervous. If you don't have this brush the elf flawless concealer brush you literally need it i've had this brush for years well obviously like i repurchased it again but i've had this brush for literally years i think i bought my first one of these brushes when i was like in like i think maybe eighth grade the fenty beauty setting powder the setting powder is amazing um i have dry skin and i can still use it if i use it properly but just be careful like, if you do have dry skin and you like a matte base you have to kind of use like natural to like dewy finish like foundations and concealers because um you kind of have to even it out so like if, since i have dry skin and i'm using a dry powder i have to use more like natural to like dewy finish foundations not really like matte products because the powder makes it matte enough and then it'll start like clumping up and like looking patchy i'm next gonna go with my physician's formula eyeliner i don't really like this eyeliner too too much but I just like to do a little wing with my eyeliner. Okay, so I've been using black eyelash glue and I used the super strong um, Lash Couture eyelash glue. I got it like at Ulta in like an eyelash pack. But I essentially do the same thing that I've been doing. I just put like a really thin layer on my eyelashes. Um, and I like to use black lash glue when i have black eyeliner on obviously if you have like brown eyeliner or you're not doing eyeliner i would just use clear but i just kind of go over my eyeliner a little bit 
with the black eyelash glue. So once I do that, your eyelashes, trust me, they will not go nowhere. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get some mascara. I get the roller lash mascara because I don't really like a too like thickening mascara. I just need something to blend my eyelashes in with my fake eyelashes. Then I get what's left on my concealer brush and I just outline my wing. It helps it be a little bit more defined. And then I just go in with like a little blender. And I kind of blend that out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my foundation and I'm going to go with the same concealer brush. And I'm going to conceal the top of my brows. But now I'm going to go ahead and put my eyelashes on. I put them on with tweezers just to like be more precise. I get this little like clamper and this is crucial to when you put your, when you do your eyelashes i clamp them all together I get this little like eyelash curler thing it's literally like broken i got it from my like, tj maxx and i haven't been able to find one like it ever since then but it really like clamps your eyelashes together and makes them blend in super super well now that the eyelashes are on we're gonna go on to our base and i use the elf halo glow liquid filter this shade is a bit dark it is the lightest shade that they have though their shade range is not that great but it hides under my foundation anyways i blended my concealer on my forehead without putting the halo glow on first and sometimes that happens but if that happens i just put it on top of it because the halo glow really does make the biggest difference because one time i remember i forgot to put it on and then my makeup was not looking the same and i was like what the heck like what did i do differently like it just looked kind of dual and it like didn't look as smooth and then i realized that i didn't put my halo liquid glow on so it really does make a difference even if you think it doesn't with how your makeup turns out and how it applies now it's time for foundation i use the juno and co sponge and this sponge is so amazing So once it's all blended, I go in and I blend it all up again. So next it's time for, I do bronzer next. And I just use my, I use this beauty blender, this RSLA beauty one. The top I use for bronzer, the bottom I use for blush. And I use my e.l.f. putty blush in honey drip. And I just kind of like dig in there and then like do little dots on my face. It's like that. They're just super like simple to blend. And I used to do it with a brush but i just found that doing it with the beauty blender just kind of blends everything in more seamlessly and makes everything easier for everyone i like to go under here but then i grab my foundation brush and i clean up the bronzer i mean my foundation beauty blender and I clean up the bronzer so i get a little bit of the same concealer that i used to blend out my brows and i just put that in those areas so i put it down my nose a little bit under my eyes and then i get this juvia's place like concealer it's super messy it's fun. this concealer gets super messy and this is the lightest shade in the juvia's place it doesn't really have a lot of coverage but it is really good for brightening so that's why i kind of mix them both together and then i blend out my chin my upper lip my nose and my forehead i get this um morphe and ariel collaboration brush and i contour my nose with the putty bronzer because i did have like a hard time contouring my nose like every time i would do it it would just come out super harsh so the putty bronzer literally changed my life because you just blend it out with your beauty blender and cream contouring is so much easier right now my nose looks crazy now that that's blended out it's like not cleaned up down the sides so that's when i blend out my concealer and i kind of use my concealer to clean up the contour just thought i have to use powder for it because then i feel like sometimes it just gets patchy 
or it just looks too harsh like the powder lines I used to not contour my nose for school because it just took too much time but now like i have it like in the mornings i just contour my nose because it's so simple now and it makes the biggest difference in what your makeup looks like trust me i've been liking um peach blush sometimes i use pink blush like to get like a cold look but honestly i kind of been liking peach blush again I love to use a cream blush underneath my powder blush so I use the e.l.f. putty blush in Turks and Caicos and I just put that on with the little putty blush brush and I put that on my cheeks and I put that on the tip of my nose and then I kind of just pack it on like that get my little sponge I like to blend all these things in with a sponge because it just blends in super easy and fast so I use a powder puff. I got this powder puff from Amazon. If you're not already using a powder puff, you need to use one ASAP. I just make sure all the creases under my eyes are like demolished. And I get my powder puff and I dip it in my powder. Put it on my hand like once or twice just to get rid of any of the excess powder. And I focus on setting my under eyes and then I go on to the corner of my eyes over my nose contour too just to kind of blend that all in together so i just like kind of like go over my nose do my next eye so then i'm just gonna pat it all over my face and just like really just smooth out everything i love setting my face with powder because it just like Watching everything turn matte is my favorite thing. So then I just grab my powder puff and I carve out my bronzer. And then for my favorite part ever, I kind of just cleaned up my little like area a little bit more. Um, but I use my blushes and I use this Kylie blush in Close to Perfect. It kind of is broken so I... Yeah. And these are her old formulas, so I don't. I think she has Crush actually, and then I use Crush mixed with it. I think she might have Crush in her new formula, but these are her old formula blushes. But I just basically just use like a peachy blush. Look at how. This is the Luxie 514 blush brush, and I love this brush. And then I get my Essence Brightening Powder. This brightening powder is amazing and it's super affordable. So if you don't already have this powder, you need it. The one that I got is kind of defected and it won't really open unless I open it with tweezers. But I just get my little under eye setting brush from the Techniques. Grab some on there. And run it under my eyes and blend that down to where my blush is at. I'm just going to grab some white eyeliner from NYX. Some people use peach, some people use nude, some people use black. I love white. It just makes your eyes look like so much more awake. And then I'm going to brush away that powder with the same brush that I used for my brightening powder. I'm going to grab my Kylie bronzer in khaki and I've recently just been using this for my eyes and like I'm like literally hitting pan. I get a fluffy blending brush and I just kind of blend that on my outer corner of my eyes and then blend that into the center. So it kind of creates like depth. So I rub it in my crease, but I mainly focus it on the outer corner of my eye. A small pencil brush and I do it underneath my eyes right here. What I'm going to do is just get powder. Run that powder down my nose. I'm just going to clean it up. My ColourPop Fuscatarian Highlight as well as my Fenty Beauty Diamond Balm. And I get a small little pencil brush and I run that in my inner corner of my eyes. And I kind of run that down underneath my eyes meeting my bronzer. This is super close. So I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to coat my eyelashes in mascara. tweezers as you can see this already has a lot of mascara on it and i just run my tweezers like in it like that just chunks of my eyelashes together and then 
and they look spiky just like that so now that we have our spiky under eyes it's time for our lip combo for my lip combo i'm gonna get the nyx lip liner in new truffle and then i get the nyx lipstick in dainty days and i just put it on the in the center of my lips and i pat it in and this is the whole makeup look so i'm literally so obsessed with how my makeup turns out when i do this makeup um i love everything about it and i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope i explained this to you guys well so you guys can recreate this look if you guys do rec recreate this like make sure to tag me on like tiktok or instagram or dm me a picture i really want to see you guys recreate my everyday makeup look and if you guys want to see more makeup videos the around this season because i know you guys probably have like parties and christmas parties and stuff that you guys want to do makeup for if you want more like holiday makeup tutorials let me know because i will super be down to do that i haven't done eyeshadow in a super long time and i'm really down to create some content i'm doing that so let me know you guys and i hope you guys love this video see you guys in the next video bye